Hello, welcome back. Why does it just say zero on my, oh, okay, it picked up. I was wondering why for a second it just said zero. My um, live stream second counter just stopped at zero and I was like, what? Why did it stop at zero? And then I realized I was still on. It was kind of weird. Welcome back. Doing another live stream. Hopefully people um um will um enjoy this one. Fan cast of the day. Emmy Ross. Oh shoot, this is so dark. I'm so bright. Emmy Rossum as Lois Lane. Fan cast of the day. I'm gonna start doing that now for um for my live streams. I'm probably just gonna mention fan casts. And um and Christopher Nolan Justice League trailer is coming along well. It's um Working on it. It's um, it's getting there. It's gonna be a two minute thing. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on in the news today. Hopefully, there's something good. Um, Regal Cinemas. They're not gonna be showing Universal movies. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. Regal Cinemas is a very, very, like, big movie, um, big movie theater here in my state, my home state. There are a whole bunch of Regals. If I can't watch my Jurassic World, what am I going to do? <laughs> Jurassic World is not going to be... And, oh, hey, Teen Titan of Fury. I was just saying that Universal is not going to be show... Uh, I mean, wait... Regal is not going to be showing Universal movies um, due to um, the Universal CEO's comments about stream, about, um, oh, hey, guys. Hey, SDN Editions. Hey, Teen Titan of Fury. Um, Universal movies will not be shown at Regal Cinemas as of right now. Hopefully they can fix that because I really want to see Jurassic World 3. Regal Cinemas is a very, very big, um, yeah. I have, um, Teen Titan Fury. My area has the most Regals. Not, not like, not like, not like in the world. But we have a lot of Regal cinemas over here in my home state. And if there's no Jurassic World, um, 3, Dominion, then I'm going to be really disappointed when I find out that they're still doing this. And there's an, uh, there's going to be no way I'm going to be able to see Jurassic World 3 unless I go to Cinemark or, um... Oh my god, I can't think of the there's one in my home there's one in my home um uh, the main city of where I'm from and I can't remember for the life of me what that theater is called. I think there's only like a very few or very few in the world. I can't remember what it's called. Um Oh, it looks like Deadline Hollywood has said Greg Berlanti donates one bit uh, one million to COVID nineteen Hollywood relief efforts, including six hundred k to workers on his shows. Oh, that's nice. By the way, fun fact: Greg Berlanti has been working on um all the Arrowverse shows and most of the original um DC Universe shows, and um. And also, he worked on Green Lantern, which is not one of his most critically acclaimed things. And let me see what else. Um, ooh, okay, this is a good one. Joe, um, this is from DiscussingFilm.com. Joe Keery has teased what to expect in Stranger Things Season 4. By the way, I'm quoting them on this. I have this um, article on Twitter. Um, I think that this year, and I know that I say this every single year, but this is definitely going to be a lot scarier than prior years because last year was pretty dark. Whoa. We're going to get, like... 
it's going to get a lot scarier now. Um. Oh my gosh. Um. Has anyone seen um Rim Slim Art on Twitter? Because he posted this. He put a mustache on Superman from that new um uh um that new Superman um DCAU movie that's coming out. I know I call it the DCAU, and I know all of you are gonna say that's that's the um that's the um the old animated shows, but technically they call it the DCAMU, if I'm correct. Yeah, I think it's DC Animated Movie Universe. Is that is that that's what they call the um the new 52, um, Jason O'Mara and um, Rain Wilson. Uh, Jason O'Mara is Batman and Rain Wilson is Lex Luthor movies. I know I just said two completely different people from that movie series, but um, I just I was saying that it's called the DCAMU, which I found out recently when I looked at a compilation videos of fight scenes from that series. And I've heard that Apocalypse War is supposed to be the last DCAMU film. But our, but but one important question I gotta ask is: Is Jason O'Mara gonna return as Batman? He's getting to be his fifties. Well, Kevin Conroy's in his sixties, and he's still doing the voice of Batman. So, um, who am I to say that he's not gonna continue? He would be really good as um the Batman in the CW and on the CW. He would be a really good Batman, Jason O'Mara for the CW um Arrowverse. Because um because that would be a really good choice. Um and also it would uh it would be fitting since Ruby Rose is in her 30s and we can't have a a, a Batman who's a little bit older than her, is that that would conflict with the age we saw him at in the beginning of the uh, beginning of Batwoman when they showed the flashback with Batman that they they're definitely going to make him in his late 40s or early 50s since he was um probably in his 20s or 30s when he was um Batman in the um in the time where he uh um tried to save um Kate from the car crash ooh okay well <laughs> There's no one on the stream anymore. Weird. Um, I gotta wait. I gotta. I gotta see if I can promote this stream on Discord. Um, let's see. I gotta go to YouTube library. Your videos. By the way, you're gonna hear a little bit of it. Oh, you just did. Oh, that's why some of the people have been. That's why. I, that's why the view count just went down. Um. So, um, Teen Titan of Fury, I am surprised at this casting for Man of Tomorrow. I didn't expect Darren Chris because Darren Chris has been one of the biggest Superman recasts for the DCU that I've seen on Twitter. Like, literally, he's like, li he's like literally one of the top choices on Twitter for, um, to play Superman. Um... Uh, and um, I find that so crazy that he was that he was voice that he was the voice of Superman in this because um, he's uh, the, um, I've seen a lot of people fan cast him as Superman on the internet, like on Twitter. He's a very prominent um, recast, but I haven't seen it on Instagram as of yet with fan casts. Instagram is more of a of of a uh, fan cast home than Twitter. Instagram has way more fan casts, but I think there are about like, let's say hundreds or thousands of fan cast um, users on Instagram. It's way more than Twitter. Um, okay, let me read this. Um, Superman Man of Tomorrow voice cast includes Darren Chris as Superman. That's a dang good choice. Whoever came up with that must have um, seen the fan casts on uh, the internet. Zachary Quinto is Lex Luthor. Oh my god. Zachary Quinto, man, that's a that's a superb choice as Lex Luthor because I've heard he can play um Zachary Quinto can play good villains. Oh my god, th th this is literally the gold mine of fan of 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 um casting.
Zach, Darren Chris is Superman. Zachary Quinto is Lex Luthor. Alexandra Daddario is Lois Lane. Brett Dalton as Lobo. I would not have thought he would have been the voice of Lobo ever. I've just seen him as Ward from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I could not have in a million years thought he could have been Lobo. And then Ryan Hurst is Parasite. Can, can anyone tell me who Ryan Hurst is? I'm going to look him up and see if he's... I don't. I have no idea who Ryan Hurst is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I had no idea who this dude is, and I still don't know. I, I, that was the only one. Uh, Ryan Hurst in that cast for the new Superman one um, m movie, Man of Tomorrow, is the only one I didn't recognize. Mo the other names I did. And um. Let's see. Um, let's see. I'm still looking to see if there's any more news. By the way, if you're not, if you're not, um, if you didn't know that 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 um, what I was quoting was um, discussing films tweet about Man of Tomorrow. What uh, what uh, I was wondering, what do you guys think of the Man of Tomorrow um, art style? Is it? I I feel like I'm gonna go all out and say this. I feel like the art style is very similar to Archer. Do you guys have that same um uh opinion? It looks like the Archer. Uh, it looks like the people um. Looks like the um the art style from the TV show Archer. If you're not watching that, it's on FX. My dad watches it, but I don't. He 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 loves um Archer. Um, have you guys seen Archer by any chance? Um, because it's um, it's really um I've heard it's really funny. Okay, I'm still looking for news. That's why I'm pausing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Marvel Stark, you're completely right. At, like the first time I saw that, um, maybe I, I actually, um. I just noticed it looked like Archer, like, just a minute ago, and, um, speaking of, uh, um, news, Regal has now just joined the club of, um, ba of not, of banning Universal movies in their theaters. Regal. I just gotta tell you, Regal is one of the main theater chains in my home state. Like, if you get rid of Universal, I am not going to be able to see Jurassic World um, 3, Dominion. The only, um, and AMC too. AMC is a very prominent, fe prominently featured um, movie theater chain in my home state too. And if you get rid of those on both, um, um, you, on both AMC and Regal, there's, um, there's not going to be a chance that I'm going to be able to see it. Unless I go to like the lesser known movie cha uh, movie theater chains. Oh, um, Frost Husky. Why are they? Um. Oh, I um, do um. I know why they're doing it. It's because Universal. Um, the CEO of Universal made some risky um words and said that they were gonna both put their movies on video on demand and release them in theaters. And also, um, I watched John Campia and he said, he said something about when he was talking about the AMC thing, he said, this is not, uh, this is not good for. Oh, wait a minute. Marvel Stark. When did that come out? Because I have no, I, I didn't even know that was released. Um, I gotta see if I could find that. I gotta react. Uh, actually, this is gonna be a reaction video. I didn't expect um, a Black Widow um, pop figure trailer to come out.
Okay, Marvel Stark, where did you find that? Oh, is it the Marvel HQ video? Is it Marvel Funko Presents Black Widow? Marvel Stark, is that it? Like, um, is it this one? Starts like this? Is this the one with Black Widow run, uh, with, um... Is it the one with Black Widow and, um, Yelena Belova? Okay, yeah, that's, that, I got, I'm gonna watch this and see. Because I am a big fan of Funko Pops. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I know that, uh, this is basically just me, um, saying this, but, um, the, po the Funko Pops have a very John Wick style of fighting. Oh, and wait a minute. Um, uh, you, guys, uh, you guys, I wanted to ask you this. Isn't the John Wick stunt coordinator doing Black Widow 2? Did I hear correctly that he's doing, that that guy's doing um, Black Widow 2? Because I think I heard um, that um, the stunt coordinator for um, uh, John Wick, stunt director, was doing Black Widow 2. Oh, Frost Husky, you're Kamikaze, uh, Kamikaze 1702? I didn't know that. <laughs> By the way, I will, ooh, ooh, but, um, speaking of pop figures, um, I have a very unpopular opinion about pop figures. I hate bobbleheads. I hate the pop figure bobbleheads. I hate them. And um, if you guys don't know this, DC used to you used to um do pop figure bobbleheads back in the early 2010s. And then I think about I think right around the time I was starting to collect pop figures again, they started doing the regular pop figures without the bobble. I hate pop figure bobbleheads. I hate them so much. <laughs> Oh, you have all your pops stuck on top of my uh, stuck on top of your TV. I have all my pop pop um Funko Pop figures. Oh, 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 that's why. Huh, I didn't know that Teen Titan of Fury. I didn't know that Hasbro had had something to do with the um with the um um uh, Marvel Pop, uh, pop figures being bobbleheads. Actually, Disney, um, Star Wars does that too. But so weird. Like literally, the Disney Star Wars and Marvel does bobbleheads. But what confuses me even more is that Disney, regular Disney, does figures, not bobbleheads. Like, it's so weird. Uh, let's see, um, I'm just checking Discord. Hey, Julian, nice to see you again. Um, so let's see, um, I got, um, um, I got a fan cast. Does anyone, has anyone on this stream seen Shameless? I haven't, and I wanted to ask you guys this, and I know you are probably going to be uh, be biased on this. Oh my god, okay, Marvel Stark, what you said, that's perfect. Russo Brothers, they literally can make you Hercules as good as the animation. Um... By the way, the Russo brothers have been killing it with uh, direct uh, directing and producing recently. Extraction. Um, I've heard that was a real that was really good. And um, and um, oh my god, what was I saying? Um, oh oh oh. Speaking of um, I was gonna ask you. Yeah, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is kind of getting overused in the fan cast community. By the way, I absolutely hate 
Oh my God. So let me guys tell you about this. I was on the internet like several, I was on the internet like several years ago. So this Luke Cage, Dwayne, the rock Johnson art piece. And I was like, um, Oh, um, I, um, Oh, nice to see you. The memes one, two, three. Um, yeah, yeah, Teen Town of Fury. That, I'm just gonna say, why? Who on earth thought that Luke Cage art piece was a good idea with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Dwayne The Rock Johnson is Samoan. He's not, he's not African American. Yeah, I know. Like, like, oh, no, what I'm trying to say, um, Frost Husky, is that Luke Cage. Like, people are fancasting Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Luke Cage. Why would people do that? He's he's a different ethnicity to Luke Cage. Like, he's a different um race. Like, um, it's so weird why people would why people would um think that's a good idea. Because um like, um, no, 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 the memes 23, they're not doing that. What I'm talking about is this art piece that came out, like, five to six years ago that had, um, oh, Frost Husky, that Johnny Bravo art piece. I love that even better. I'm just, I'm just so apprehensive about that, um, Luke K. Okay, let me, let me tell you guys the basis of this. The memes, um, the memes 23, I'm going to tell you all what I'm talking about. Several years ago, um, some artist on DeviantArt did a Luke Cage piece with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Can you all see why that's really, 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 like, not good? Luke Cage is African American. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, Sir Coffee, welcome back. Um, Luke Cage is African American. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is Samoan. Those are two entirely different races. And even, oh my god, if, if that's not the worst thing, the, um, they, they darkened Dwayne The Rock Johnson's skin to look more African American. And I'm like, dude, don't do that. Like, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Look, okay, so here it is. Here's here's the art. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have seven viewers. I guess I, I I just reached a peak. This is the first time I've had seven viewers. This is what I'm talking about. This this is really really concerning. It's not. It is so weird. Like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's not African-American. He's Samoan. Yeah, Kamikaze, they've, they've made his skin darker to look like he's African-American. And that's not his... Yeah, that's the... I, yeah, I believe that's the helicarrier from Winter Soldier, Marvel Stark. This, this... As soon as I saw this recently, I was like, dude... That is not, that's like not pleasing. Like, it's so weird. I am, I'm a stickler for when people have fan casts, they choose the wrong ethnicity or race. It's so, I'm so, I'm such a stickler for that. I hate when people do that. And, um, actually, um, I wanted to ask you guys this. Who um who would you like to see as Luke Cage in the MCU if they recast Mike Coulter? I could personally see um Terry Crews. Would that be a good choice, Terry Crews as Luke Cage for the MCU if they decide to um recast the characters after the Netflix after um the rights go back to Marvel? Like Disney Marvel, not Netflix Marvel. Yeah, I agree. Andy Serkis would have been such a good penguin, but um, and he probably. Uh, let me just say this: I think 
Um, Terry Crews, I think he's 50. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Julian Bell. Gus from Psych as Luke Cage would be hilarious. But the only the only way he could do that is if he if he um goes to the gym and and really um gets really muscly for the role. Like um he's gotta he's gotta have like a big muscle mass in order to look like Luke Cage from the comics. Um, uh, Marvel um memes one oh, um the memes one two three. I think this is my personal opinion. I just thought of this. Andy Circus would make. Um, the means one, two, three. Andy Circus. You know who he could be? He could be Emperor Penguin. That would be a better um casting for him, because Emperor Penguin is meant to be tall. Penguin's meant uh, meant to be short. <laughs> so um. Let me actually. I'm gonna look up how old Terry Crews is real quick. Terry Crews. Terry Crews is 51. He's on. Bro oh, oh. Speaking of Terry Crews, have you guys watched Brooklyn Nine Nine? That is a hilarious show with Andy Samberg and um Terry Crews. I love that show. Do you guys have you guys seen Brooklyn Nine Nine? It's really funny. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of thinking that when I came up with the fan cast, um, Emperor, Pe um, um, Emperor Penguin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Circus looks a little too old to be Emperor Penguin. I immediately thought of that as soon as I said that he would be a good Emperor Penguin. Um, Um, by the way, have you seen, have you guys seen the press release that, um, Penguin might be a good guy and he might be called Oz and might be running for mayor in Gotham? Have you guys seen that press release? A bunch of people have been um, going on YouTube and talking about that. Talking about, um, uh, Penguin running for mayor in Gotham and the Batman. Oh, and, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay, let me, I've been trying to say this for the past five minutes, and I haven't been able to get it out, um, um, okay, I wanted to ask you guys this, have you seen, have you heard of an actor, have you heard of an actress named Sammy Han, Hanrady, or Hanrady, is that, I don't know how to say her name, but have you guys heard of her? Like, have you seen any stuff with her in it? Because I think her and Breck Basinger would be really good Supergirls. Would be really good for the really good for Supergirl. Do you guys think so? <gasps> Wait, Marvel Stark just. Oh my god, John Campia is gonna have to, um, wait, memes one, one, two, three, do you not see Breck Basinger or Sammy Hanratty as, um, Supergirl? Is that what you talked about when you said nope? Oh, um, memes one, two, three, if you're wondering who Breck Basinger is, she's the, um, lead actress in Stargirl. Not the Disney one, but the DC one. Like the one who's playing Stargirl on the CW in DC Universe. That's who, the second one who I'm talking about. That's um, like, let me. Wait. Wait, am I? Okay, um, hey, um, ha have I been, I don't think I've been cussing, man. I don't think I have. Um, can anyone confirm that?
Because I haven't, I don't think I've said anything really, um, um, yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've been cussing. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure I didn't, I didn't curse. Because someone's saying I've been cussing, and I don't think I have. Okay, what do you mean by not you the Marvel? Because um some um I don't understand what you mean by not you the Marvel to kill a Gar uh, Garson. I don't know what you mean. No, 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 no. I'm not saying anyone on the stream cussed. I'm saying someone thinks I've been cussing this entire time. Because Tequila Garson is saying that I've been cussing. I didn't say AF. If is anyone, like, I didn't say AF at all throughout the entire stream, and I haven't been cursing. Oh, oh, they're talking about Marvel, wait a minute, let me look back. Yeah, AF isn't bad at all. I know it means what everyone thinks it means, but it's just an abbreviation. Yeah, I agree. Let's just, um, let's focus on, um, like, I did not, like, um, I did actually not see AF in the comments until... Like Marvel's, um, let's, let's, I'm going back through the, um, going back through it to see if, oh, okay, I see it now, I see it, I see it, okay, I know what, I know what everyone's talking about now. Okay, so, um. Yeah, um, I, okay, let me tell you this, um, I do not, I'm just gonna say this, I do not cuss on a regular basis, I'm just bringing that up, I'm just bringing that up, and I'm just bringing that up, and I know, um, so, um, Yes, I can say heck. Sorry if we had to bring that all up. I didn't, I did, I just saw the, I just realized that, um, um, I just saw the comment that, um, okay, memes one, two, three, are you? Yeah, Marvel Stark. I'm just saying, I didn't I forgot that you used AF. I like just saw the whole cur cursing thing and I was like, "What? Is that like did I curse?" I didn't know that this I didn't know that that was even in the comment originally. Yeah, I'm sorry that um I didn't I didn't even know that anyone had put AF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know Marvel Stark. I know you said it for that. And I'm sorry that that guy got on to you for that. I didn't expect someone to um get upset. Oh, lightning edits. Um 
someone went, um, someone said, um, or like, I think about five minutes ago in the stream, someone said, um, um, someone said, um, someone called out Marvel Stark for saying AF. And I thought, like, I thought for, um, I thought for, like, um, five minutes that it was me who was doing the cussing, and I was confused. A Fox, oh my god. Oh my god, memes one, two, three, that is, that's funny. I like that everyone's now just putting AF, um, um, like, uh, words that, that have AF in it. Okay, the whole comment section has just become AF, and I love it. <laughs> okay, let me think. What's another one? What's a good AF? Um, like, um... Oh my god, what's a good... What's a good AF? <laughs> like, a, like a word that... Another Friday. Oh my god. If it, oh my god, memes one two three. If you said that on Friday, I would have been so happy. <laughs> but it's Thursday. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> I can think of a few. Oh my god, lightning edits. That's oh, that's amazing. This whole thing is just turned into one big comedy sketch, and I love it. <laughs> um, let's think. Um, oh, I think I um. Oh, I got, I got, I got one. Another fuss. Hey, by the way, um, did you guys hear that um, Silver and Black might become a Disney Plus TV show, like a limited series? I think the only way they'll be able they'll be able to do that is if they get the okay from Sony. Ant fried. Oh my god. Oh, I got the perfect one. If anyone has seen Disney, Ant Farm. Oh my god, like, um, has anyone seen Disney's show Ant Farm? Did you grow up watching that? Because I, uh, I was, um, I was, um, born in the 90s, like, late 90s, and I watched, um, Ant Farm. Have you guys watched Ant Farm on Disney Channel? Because that was my show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the one. I love, I absolutely, I, by the way, um, I just gotta tell you guys my favorite Disney XD shows from the past decade. Okay, let me let me tell you my I, my favorite one. Are you talking about um um memes one two three? Are you talking about Ant Farm when you're saying that's a clever way to use AF? <laughs> oh my! Oh my god, lightning edits, you just made my day. No, I've been too busy making a fan a fan edit. <laughs> oh my god. Um so I found out that um when you do live streams on Instagram, you can um you can um put like um videos that you have on your phone with the live stream. <laughs> By the way, I can't believe it, guys. We've reached the milestone view count. We are now at nine viewers. That has topped all of my previous streams. My previous streams have only gotten five viewers. Now I got nine. Okay, so, um, oh, by the way, um, I, I, okay. Does, uh, I want to repeat this because I don't think anyone, um, Anyone? Yeah, let's get it to ten. Let's get it to ten. It'll be a. It'll be the first milestone in not real production streams to have ten viewers. By the way, um, let me think. Let me think if um, 
I have a really good um another freaking viewer. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, if oh my god, the memes one, two, three, if you would capitalize the F, it would have been awesome. Oh, a very different war machine design revealed in unused Iron Man 3 concept art. Oh, you posted that on your Discord. I gotta look at that later. Um so, um, who, okay, I wanted to ask you guys this, because right now I'm working on the Christopher Nolan Justice League edit. Who would you guys like to see as Supergirl in that? She has to be, um, younger than Brandon Routh, about 10 to 5 years younger. Actually, 10 years younger. Who do you think could, um, oh, <laughs> Marvel Stark. Let's not, I, I know you put Megan Fox in there just to get a laugh. <laughs> Megan Fox. <laughs> By the way, I've heard that she did a terrible job in Out of the Shadows. <laughs> what do you mean by you? <laughs> oh my god. I am a man. I can't play Supergirl. You know, um, oh, you're ordering a foot long. You know what? I haven't had a foot long in like, let's just say five years. Teresa Palmer. That would actually be a, the, I actually, ooh, ooh, speaking of Teresa Palmer, fun fact, Teresa Palmer was almost Talia al Ghul in Justice League Mortal. Did you guys know that? That would have been really cool. Oh my god. It's 2020, boys. Times are changing. <laughs> you know, um... I, um, actually... Oh, you said I'm a Supergirl because I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this Man of Steel, super uh, the Batman v Superman shirt. <laughs> oh my god, Julian. Oh, this is awesome. AF has just become... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teen Titan of Fury. By the way, Army Hammer. Still, really good choice to play Batman. And by the way, um... Yeah, DJ Catr uh, Catrona is Superman. Oh my god, by the way, DJ Katrona looks exactly like the DCAU Superman from the Superman animated series. Oh, what film are you watching? The memes one, two, three? Is it a um is it one that came out recently? <gasps> oh my god, come on! <laughs> memes one, two, three, why would you do that? If you put a capital letter in A film, I probably would have realized that you were doing an AF. Thing. <laughs> oh my god. This this whole comment section has just become AF. <laughs> um so um So um I wanted to ask you guys this also if I wanted to re-include that scene from my um, Justice League Twitter post that I did for Christopher Nolan. There's a there's a line that I originally used in the edit that said that was the that was the um yeah it was it was a funny joke um so um oh <laughs> you know what yeah eleven oh my god yes yes. We've just reached 11. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We are... we. By the way, you're about to hear my dog just... Hey, I have to end the stream. We reached 11 viewers. By the way, my dog is on an absolute rampage right now because my mom just got home. Thank you. We reached 11 views and 11 viewers and 8 likes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.